Now, speaking of the fight against corruption, let's now go to part two of the Graft Diaries, our special focus on corruption as revealed by the Public Accounts Committee. Now, how would you picture a complete petrol station with its pumps and fuel tanks converted into office suits? Well, this was the case according to State House. The Public Accounts Committee found that State House officials claimed to have paid 85% of the cost of constructing a petrol station that was never even completed in the first place. In today's episode of Graft Diaries, Katie's Ian Wafula looks at the State House petrol station that that never was. Its sole purpose was perhaps to fuel and maintain vehicles attached to the president and his staff, but we may never know. As the intended workshop and petrol station meant to be put up within the confines of the state facility was never to be. In May 2011, a contractor was entrusted with the project at a price of 105 million shillings for a period of one year. A report by the Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee reveals a rather disturbing finding that not only had the project stalled just one month after it started, but also about 89 million shillings had been paid by the 30th of June 2013, two years and a month after the project stalled. That was 85% of the entire contract value for close to nothing in return. Assuming that the project went on and 85% of it was put up as per the payment, According to Rura, a development company, it would mean that at this point, some of the crucial elements for a standard petrol station would be up. For instance, one underground storage tank for each petroleum product provided at the station, dispensing pumps which should essentially be covered, a service bay, washing bay and offices for the station staff would be up and in place. The Public Accounts Committee found that none of this had been put up, but there's more. Neither had the contractor been issued with a default notice, nor had the process of recovering the settled payments commenced. Further, the report says that there was no evidence to show that the contractor had submitted a performance guarantee as required under the general conditions of contract, nor had the guarantee been recalled and discharged against uncompleted works. However, in a twist of events, the committee says that State House on its part claimed to have opted to convert the 85% of the construction of the petrol station into offices for the increased number of staff, begging a number of questions. How were payments of 89 million shillings made without the mandatory certification by the Ministry of Public Works as required? And how exactly would a petrol station one month into its construction be turned into offices? At the time of the payments between the year 2011 to 2013, three individuals had occupied the office of the State House Comptroller, from which State House budgets are approved. The committee recommended that the accounting officer responsible for accounting the irregular payments to the contractor without proof of work done be surcharged for the full sum of the public funds lost and further disciplinary action be considered by the appointing authority and or the director of public prosecutions. Further, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission was invited to investigate the unclear circumstances of the construction of the project. As to whether the close to 89 million shillings will be accounted for or whether investigations into the mysterious circumstances under which this money was paid will be investigated is still a matter of great concern. However, Graft Diaries continue to inform you just how your money is working for you. Ian Wafula, KTN, Nairobi.